<laughs> oh, hey everybody, it's me, Mr. Train. I was just working on my Valentine's Day card for the people in my life. Wait a minute, it's Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day reminds me of lovebirds. And lovebirds reminds me of all the entries that I got for the art competition that I loved. And I need to tell you who won the amazing art competition. Let's go find out. Lessons, birding, Mr. Mr. Be on nature training better. We are learning words and birding lessons. Love and wonder turning nature better when we're learning wording, birding lessons, learning Mr. Train's life lessons for better birding and beyond. You know, it is Valentine's Day, and Valentine's Day is always a great opportunity to talk about love. As I got to looking at all of your amazing art entries, you reminded me of one of our most important lessons. When we wonder, we discover. And you discovered so many amazing things. And as I enjoyed the process of looking over all of your amazing artwork, I got to thinking, by taking the time to learn and look, you start to fall in love. That's right. By taking the time to care for birds, by taking the time to care for people and others in your life, you are showing them that you love them. Isn't that an amazing lesson for Valentine's Day? I think it's a perfect time to tell you about the winners of our art competition. Before I do, I just want to express a big thank you to Marnie Filling for her amazing drawing of a hermit thrush and for helping to judge the competition. To Wild Birds Unlimited for providing an amazing bird feeding starter kit to today's winner. And to Little City Books for providing one of our artists with a Little City Books gift card. In third place with this detailed drawing is my birding buddy, Ishan. You really used your imagination and creativity and Marnie loved how you took time to show so many details about this beautiful goldfinch. In second place with this amazing house sparrow is my birding buddy, Cooper. Now I can totally tell that this bird here is a house sparrow because it's clear that you took the time to notice the black bib on the bird's breast, which is something we talked about in an earlier video. Great job. And our grand prize winner is this Canada goose by my birding buddy, Molly. There are so many details on this beautiful bird that stick out to me. First, look at the beautiful browns and whites that blend into each other. I think the Canada goose is beautiful and I can tell from your picture that you do too. And you ask so many amazing questions. And because you took time to wonder and discover, I've decided to answer some of your questions in an upcoming Mr. Train video. So be on the lookout because we are gonna find out an answer to your question. Do birds have ears? I'm so grateful that all of you took the time to get to know birds. You showed a willingness to wonder and discover, so I wanna say thank you. I wanna wish everybody a happy Valentine's Day. Remember, that when we pay attention to the people and the birds in our lives, we show them love. So go outside, spend the day with someone you care about, and keep your eyes to the skies. Listen, birding, Mr. Mr. Be on nature training better. We are learning words and birding lessons. Love and wonder turning nature better when we're learning wording, birding lessons. Learning Mr. Train's life lessons for better birding and beyond.